plan to escape the matrix this month, I'm going to start a brand new YouTube channel from scratch to find the fastest and most cost effective way to get monetized on YouTube. My previous record is 26 days, so I have to beat that. And I'm pretty confident I have a strategy here that's actually going to work. So let's see how fast we can get it done and how much money we can make. One word. Trends. Trends is by far the fastest and easiest way to get traction on YouTube. I mean, someone who really took advantage of this was this guy. He made a video about the Titanic submarine sinking and clocked up 15 million views in four weeks. Forget about monetization. That means he made anywhere between 50 and 100K for that video alone. I'm more of a YouTube strategist. I don't really see trends as a smart long-term play because you can't be relying on a billionaire to have a disaster every week. But I recently got a message from a subscriber, Carol, who said, I don't know if you're interested, but maybe we could make a channel together. I found a hidden gem niche. I like gems. Plus he said, it's untapped and crazy views. Sounds like a scam, but I need to hear more. He sent me on this channel link, so I'm gonna click on it, hope it doesn't ask for my credit card information and do some research and see what all the hype is about. Okay, this is what I've gathered. There's a new trend where people are taking advantage of AI voice cloning and impersonating famous people and other celebrities and putting those voiceovers over gaming clips as if they're playing the game together. And they're bloody hilarious. Golf is fun, but the nine hole takes too long. Oh, well, Joe, are you gonna fall asleep? And these channels are clocking up some absolutely serious views here. Which does make sense because number one, they're face jacking using other people's faces as clicks, which worked for me in the past. And number two, it's a new concept, meaning we're entering a completely new market here. And that is what's really getting my Richard heart here. Because with a new and emerging market here like this one, it will take some time for the supply to reach the demand. And though those things can be short lived, there is a huge return for those people who are first market movers. There are four elements I normally look at when it comes to a YouTube channel. Mar market state, entry barrier, longevity, and economics. And right now, I'm not sure whether this YouTube channel crosses the threshold that I normally have on my YouTube scorecard, but this is about getting the YouTube channel as monetized as fast as possible and taken from there. And I do have some sneaky tricks and ideas that might turn this into Justin Bieber or circa 2010 vibes. Okay, this is our strategy. If it's not broke, don't fix it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy no, we're not going to copy. We're going to take heavy inspiration from the President's Play channel. Release as frequently as possible and get monetized before 26 days, which is my previous record. Let's see how long that takes. Once we hit monetization, this is where we really step things up. You see, President's Play have made a big mistake. You see, they've pigeonholed themselves. By the very nature of their branding, they are building an audience who will only like watching these three presidents play video games and abuse each other. I think we can go much bigger. You see, I think there's a wider trend here that we can take advantage of for the next couple of years. A trend of presidents doing more than just video games, but doing movie reviews, reactions. And not just presidents, other celebrities. Look at what Mr. Beast has done with his React channel. Imagine doing this for people who are more famous than him. Kim Kardashian, Andrew Tate. That's why we're not going to call it President's Play or President's Game or anything like that. We're going to call it false faces. But let's not run a 9.58 before we can walk here and get the channel monetized. The first thing we need to do is get a video sorted. We'll talk about Carol later, but he thinks he can get a video done for between 20 and 30 bucks a video. From my experience, getting a scriptwriter to write an original script on top of an editor to do an original edit for that price is either going to be very poor quality or impossible. But the market saturation right now is at its lowest, and we might just do this to kick things off and build on top I'm going to be doing the voiceovers myself because, you know, I do an unbelievable Barack Obama impression. <laughs> I can't even finish the joke. The voiceovers are going to be done on a tool called Eleven Labs. The main reason we're using Eleven Labs is because of its voice cloning feature. So all we need to do is get some clips from our favorite presidents as an MP3 file and then drag it into this magic box and watch it output the following. Hello, my name is Barack Obama. Some scrizzy bitches here. Carol has agreed to manage the freelancers and the posting of the videos and myself and my partner for all things YouTube, John, are going to fund the process and build everything on top of it. And speaking of Carol, he's got a lot going on. The kid is in high school in Germany and he's already got the one trade that I look for in, in any business partner, action bias. The man just gets some stuff done. Uh, and I really do hope this works out, mainly for him 
uh, and his cut of the revenue, I really would like to see him do well out of it. So while Carl puts that together, let me put together the packaging here and talk you through some of the risks that I see. See, this channel here reminds me very, very much of those compilation channels back in the day. People that took funny Vine videos and kind of made a big montage and posted them online. And these videos banged like crazy. But what YouTube ended up doing after a while was they changed their policies so that these videos could no longer participate in the partner program because they weren't producing original content. So that's my one worry about this. Even if we get the watch time hours and subscribe numbers, I'm worried that there's a new legislation that YouTube are going to introduce that hasn't been introduced yet that will stop us from getting monetized in the long run. And number two, I think there's going to be a situation here with AI voices and just AI people in general where famous people and other, other people are just going to license their own AI to companies and production houses like they did in the new Black Mirror episodes, which means that once somebody owns the right to say, Barack Obama's voice, they are going to come down on channels like mine like a ton of bricks. But that mightn't be for five or six years. So in the meantime, there is plenty of money to be made. Okay, done. I did all that while simultaneously talking to you. And who knows, this might go really well and I might find myself on a Zoom call with the man himself pitching my number for his voice box. I've just been sent the first draft by Carl, so let's give it a watch. Hey guys, are you ready to play Minecraft? I'm ready, but I have no idea what I'm doing. Someone needs to show me the ropes. Then what are you doing here? Go do something else, like check your cholesterol level or something. F*** you, Joe. At least I didn't fall off a bicycle on national TV. It's not bad, it's not perfect, but it's definitely good enough to see if we have a concept that fits the market here, so... What we're going to do is we're going to just release these every two days, try and improve on each one of them and see how long it takes to get monetized. Let's see how this goes. Six a.m. Bullshit. It's the only time I can film in this place with nobody else around. Guess I'm not the only one up early. Uh, it's been outrageous. 18 days since the launch of our first video. We have had some freelancers fall off the face of the earth, but now we have 1,100 subscribers and 13.7 thousand watch hours. Absolutely blowing past the criteria for monetization. So we have smashed my previous monetization record. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. But don't congratulate us yet because I'm still not 100% sure if we'll be accepted to the partner program after the review. I mean, Carl has put some questionable profanity in these thumbnails. I mean, molested. Oh, I'm gonna have to have a word with him on that. But overall, he's done a fantastic job. And it would be a shame because I think we can actually generate some really decent AdSense revenue on this channel. So all we can do now is wait, see, and keep on doing what we're doing. I have an announcement. I regret to inform you that we've been accepted, baby! <laughs> the climb was tough, but the view at the top is not what we expected. So right now we're going to do two things. We're going to keep on doing what we're doing to see how much money we're going to make in the next 30 days. And we're going to launch Project Expand. So now every third video we're going to release is going to be in new format, like movie reviews. And we're going to introduce new characters as we try to expand our market here. And bring in more views to compound on those AdSense payments. And I think when we started this channel, I talked about the four elements I used to assess a YouTube channel and the two that worried me the most were longevity and economics i.e. can we do this for a long time and can we make money from it but I'm feeling a little bit better about this with Project Expand on my YouTube scorecard we've gone from a score of 42 to 56 which you know is something you can download it for free down below by the way see you in 30 days test test we're 94 days later <laughs> And I have a very big announcement that involves you and false faces. But first, the results. As you can see here, we continued to release our staple videos for a few weeks and the channel started making some decent revenue. Since we got monetized, we've made $733 
but we've kind of left it dormant ever since, as you can see, and we stopped posting videos. Truthfully, my other faceless channels that I take a little bit more seriously than this one ended up taking priority, and Carl himself, he's kind of onto bigger and better things. But I really do think that there's opportunity here to execute on Project Expand, and this is where I have an announcement. I have decided that I am not the person to do that. Behind the scenes, we're working on a few really big faceless projects, and I recently started consulting, so I just don't have the time to give this baby the attention it deserves. But you might. That is why I'm giving away this channel to you, the lovely viewer. All you need to do is subscribe to my email list down below. That's it. I'll pick a winner and I'll do a free consultancy call with that winner to get you started on the right path. Take this as a thank you for watching this far and for supporting my channel. It means the world. Link down below. That's all from me. We will see you in the next one. Salam.